It's Taco Tuesday, so why not get the festivities started inside your own kitchen? Get ready to spice things up with a mouthwatering take on the Mexican dish. And our first guest is no stranger to Good Day. He's an award-winning TV host, celebrity chef, and best-selling cookbook author. Joining us right now, and he's also a friend to Good Day, Chef Gernard Wells. Good morning, Chef. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you. Yes, good morning. You know it's always a pleasure. Always, always. And you exactly knew, you knew what the assignment was and you came ready and ready to do it. October is National Seafood Month, so you're preparing a dish right now perfect for the occasion. It's a sweet and spicy concoction. Tell us what you have. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, a sweet and spicy shrimp quesadilla, which is so amazing. Key components, garlic, bell peppers, onions. Shrimp tossed in Thai chili sauce, chili powder, and a little taco seasoning. But most importantly, we know we can't have a good quesadilla without having what? Cheese. It's all about the cheese. And you know, I've partnered up with my teams over at Truly Grass Fed. They're supporting Slow Food USA because it's all about sustainability and the way they treat their cows. Great cheese, great butter. You got to love it. So, it's really simple. A lot of people think when they think about tacos, when they think about quesadillas, that it's, not, that it's real time consuming and everything. But it's not. You see how quick I just flipped this and cooked this up for you, Sheriff? Oh, this, my goodness. <laughs> so, look, all you do is take butter. Now, the cool thing about Truly Grass Fed, not only do they make great cheeses, but they make good butters as well, which I love. Uh, the nice little tortilla shell, boom. Bell pepper shrimp on the inside of it, bell peppers on your shrimp. We got some of that nice, good cheddar cheese. Now, you can't tell me you don't love cheddar cheese, because I know I do. <laughs> cheddar cheese, boom. Drop you a little more, because we never can have enough. Then, from there, a nice quesadilla. You fold, after you fold, you just, let it flat, let it get nice and soft. In the end, this this is what you're gonna have right here. Look at all this beautiful cheese melted oh, on the inside. See, that is I know, so right? wrong. The that flavors I just that. resonate all the way through. You got the sweetness from the Thai chili. You got the spiciness from the taco season, from the chili powder, the garlic bell pepper come in, come together. But then that cheese, once oh. that aged cheddar just balances out. Man, it's look, I wish y'all was right here. I know y'all was talking about carving pumpkins earlier, but this is what you want to be carving right here. You want to be carving a good case of D. <laughs> that would make me happy, really, really happy. And you know what? It didn't take any time. It, that was really, really quick. So I guess it's just the prep yes. that takes them the longest, right? Yes, that's it. That's it. That's how I always tell people. It's all about the mise en place. We know mise en place means get all your ingredients in order. Get everything out ahead of time. I already got my truly grand fed cheese. Got my butter. Shred your cheese. Got you a little sauce or your bell peppers. Everything already diced. From that point, all you do is fire up the skillet. Now, you know, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a cool grilled cheese throwdown with Kid Chef Julian Fredericks. We're going to be, you can go to slowfoodusa.org. People can stream, watch us hook up these grilled cheese. And when I'm, and you know, you're talking to Chef Chenard. So when we're talking about grilled cheese, we ain't talking about just your strip traditional run of the mill grilled cheese. You know, it always got to be over top, over the top, and good at the same time. Perfect season for grilled cheeses. And they go with so many good things tomato base, macaroni and cheese, stuff some bacon inside. Ooh, Roll them up. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I forgot about the bacon. Definitely stuff some bacon in there as well. Chef, really quickly before you go, what seasoning should every cook have in their pantry when they're preparing their seafood? Any The seasoning that any cook should always have in their, house, in their home at any given time should be a nice, good Cajun seasoning. Mm -hmm. You know me, hey, I'm originally from now down further south Mississippi and right next to Louisiana. So Cajun seasons was something that I grew up on, just something about the savoriness, the spiciness, all of it come together to give you that nice, good, rich flavor that you want. And speaking of Cajun seasonings, you know the premiere of my new show is New Soul Kitchen, 
comes out October 27th, 9.30. And normally it will be on a Saturday, but this year on Wednesday, so you can cook along with me. I figured, though, Sharon, since you, you're on the nearest, y'all get up with probably about crack a dub about 3 or 4 in the morning. Don so 9.30 may be a little too late for you, but you can DVR. Oh, you know it. You know it. You are so busy. You're always on the move. Can't stop, won't stop, but we're glad that you stopped by Good Day today. Thank you so much, Chef. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It is. Oh, why you didn't send some over to the station? Why? Why? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. You take care. For more on today's recipe and Chef Gernard's family-friendly cook-off, head over to our website, fox5atlanta.com, and click the Scene on TV tab.